Yes, I am uh, uh, briefly. I'm a professor at Columbia University, and I'm also very heavily actively involved in the Armenian community, uh, both within the ARF and other organizations. So, what do you think about what's happening in Armenia? Um, as I was saying, this, this was a celebration of the first Armenian Republic, and one of the arguments that I was making is that it's impossible to think about May 1918, May 1918, without thinking about May 2018. And, you know, every generation has its set of challenges that make or break that generation. For the generation of May 1918, the challenge was establishing a republic, the republic that we have today. Uh, for our generation, what will make or break what we do, our legacy, is how we moving ahead, moving forward, uh, how involved we are in making sure that the gains that are being secured in Armenia on the ground through this phenomenal demonstration and protest and by thousands upon thousands, particularly of the youth, are actually enshrined into an important, uh, into, into success, translated into success that continues on uh, and does not lead to any kind of frustration. How come in the beginning the most Armenian organizations in North America and specifically they were very muted they were not talking about these things I my website and we are the only one projecting that this is not protest this is a revolution and is unstoppable but seems to me most of the people were very muted do you know why because they're worried to get interference uh, I think people had uh, all kinds of concerns uh, whether it is about the concerns that had to do with domestic Armenian policy, with intervention by other countries and states, etc. But I think the protests and this phenomenal movement uh, proved, that, uh, proved itself in a way that at this point it's, it's very difficult to imagine that anyone uh, would question the authenticity, the, the fact that it's an indigenous movement, and I think all of us are called upon, including in the diaspora, in fact, particularly in diaspora, because for the longest time, I think our involvement has not been ideal, has been far from ideal. I believe that it is, it is I think at this point, uh, it's time for us, as I said, to do our best uh, to support this movement to the fullest and make sure that it follows uh, you know, the, the actions that are taken in the coming weeks and months as I was saying, May 28 is May 28, not just because of May 28. It's May 28 because of May 29, May 30, and the months and weeks and months that followed. And the same thing here. After May 8, there's going to be May 9 and May 10, and it's important for us to continue along that path. Do you think diaspora businesses will put their, their money where their mouth is, start putting some industry stuff in there now that it's going to be free and no fear? I hope that... Uh, Armenians, uh, diasporans, have tried in different ways to be involved. I think the current environment and the current enthusiasm around everything that's going on in Armenia will motivate a lot of people. And I'm hopeful that that will also help propel a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of things forward. Will writers like you will write about, encourage the businesses to move there and establish? And I would urge not just businesses, I would urge businesses, I would urge activists, I would urge us, us all everybody within their interests and capacities to be more involved in the realities of Armenia. Well, Armenia is facing a new day and this is, it's, it's, it's an opportunity for everyone to be part of shaping this new day. Well, the reason I say business is because the job is the, the biggest problem is in Armenia. And in 2007 when I went, they were making $200 a month. Today they're still making $200 a month. So I think it's you need some people like you and others to encourage small businesses, others to move and start business. Because the number one problem in Armenia was this fear. You know, this was everybody you talked to. You know, I, I, I do believe that the entire environment of monopolies, etc., is going to really uh, also be, uh, you know, essentially being be part, become part of the past, and that will in turn create a lot of positive uh, environment. Well, thank you very much. It was nice talking to you. Good luck to you. Doing good job. <laughs>